Hey everyone, welcome back. It's 420 Shorty. And today I want to talk to you guys about the foliar spray I just started using. And it's one that I kind of make myself. Um, I use humic acid. And I just got this yesterday at Under the Sun Grow Store over here in Lakeport. Then I, and that's a new store I haven't done a video of. <laughs> And then I throw in a little bit of CalMag, just a little bit. And I've been using the, I've been doing a half strength spray at first to get them used to it. It's part of a bug prevention thing I'm doing. And it's hopefully going to help prevent the little bit of bug starts that I see right now. And uh, as we know, certain bugs carry other bugs, so I'm trying to prevent more of the uh, ants and the leaf hoppers from wanting to stick around on the plant because they carry other bugs. Ants carry aphids and leaf hoppers carry mites. So either way, I don't really want them on my buds or my plants. And you know, and yeah, so prevention is key. So this year I've been trying to do a spray each week, I'm, or I'm going to. This week I started, I actually started this morning. I was up at like dawn <laughs> and I add with the hummus and the cow mag, I add a tiny bit of the crazy kelp. Now I also water with the crazy kelp and I also add the protect to both every watering and the spray because this acts as a, an emulsifier and it also helps with you know, making sure that there's extra root enhancement and there's extra, like, it helps all the other stuff work better together. So that's what I've been spraying. When I feed them, I use the kelp, the same kelp, just at a slightly different, higher ratio. And then I also use the Protect. Every watering, that's what I use. And then I pH it. I pH it right before I put the kelp in and that seems to do just fine and the plants really love it i am having i am having a slight watering issue it's not the fact that i am not giving them enough water it's their uptake of the water i have to possibly put in a drip line so it gets to the roots over a little bit of a slower rate rather than just watering it with the uh the sprayer hose ed end or even the wand even having it on the slower spray setting it pulls up on top and that is partly because when I planted the girls in that night I did not know that the soil was not mixed in and I had to spend the time and mix the soil in well technically you're not supposed to plant your plants right after you mix your soil even if it's not hot anymore you don't want to mix it and then plant them because it hasn't settled enough yet and then there's too many air pockets and you want to be able to water it in so it compacts and that's what I had done the whole week before but I didn't know it wasn't mixed and so I had to go back and mix it and, and again that's not really when you're supposed to plant so the plants are having a lot of runoff is what I'm getting at and so I'm gonna fix that hopefully with a drip line and hopefully it'll work <laughs> we will see so far the vegetables are doing a lot better with the soaker tube and that's basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, a the drip line and put a soaker tube at the end instead of just the drip line and that should do the trick so we will see and there will definitely be a video on that later on but besides that issue I am also trying to prevent the ants and I've been doing that with diatomaceous earth so I got this 50 pound bag of food grade diatomaceous earth that I sprinkle around the pots, kind of like I'm doing a protection spell around each one, and just try to have a big barrier, you know, nice and thick and big and fluffy and not wet because as soon as it's wet, the ants can walk across it, and that's what I'm trying to prevent. I also got a whole bunch of the, the tarot. Uh, ant traps that are liquid bait ant traps that you just put places that the dogs aren't going to get into and, and I mean unless I spill it and then if I do I just clean it up but I just put them in places where I don't spill them and that works really well the ants seem to really love it and hopefully it helps kill them <laughs> and um, yeah so 
those are the issues that I've been having and or the prevention methods I'm trying. I'm trying to do this video really quick inside because it's 114 outside and my phone overheated this morning when I tried to start outside. So I will probably be turning the phone around or you know, turning the camera around and doing a second video of the things that I was just talking about, the diatomaceous earth, and showing you how they look after I had sprayed them this morning. They look really good, but they're kind of pointed up like this, like they really want more water. And I gave them 56 gallons this morning. So, and that's normally what they would need for the whole rest of the summer each day, because it gets that hot here, and I can only water once a day. So, I usually just give them a barrel each morning. Well, that barrel is kind of cooling up and going over the side, so they're not getting it as well as well, blah, 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 as well as they need to. And I'm gonna hopefully fix that, and I will, you know, I'll go out and show you in a minute. But because I had to start inside, I did not have enough time to be able to turn the camera around and get everything situated. I apologize. Like, I, and my hair's even still wet, so I'm really I'm trying to get this out before I go to work. Hopefully, I can upload it tonight after work and have it out to you guys tomorrow morning. And yeah, <laughs> it's been a challenge working and doing the garden and having everything all, you know, the schedule work out. It's been a challenge for, for real. And that's part of why I want to make sure that they get the correct water because I'm not here in the afternoon anymore to make sure that if they look wilty, they, they, I can give them a second barrel of water or whatever I need to do. And right now, when it's pulled up on it, on, on the top of the, the soil, I take a bamboo and I just poke holes in it and it drains right down. And so I know it's not getting into the roots as well as it needs to. I, I really wish that I did not have to mix them that night. I, I probably should have mixed them all and then said I'm not going to plant them for another couple days. But it was right before I started. It was that Friday night when I started back at work. So that was my work week and I didn't have a way to go and plant them, you know, and wait a week and whatever. And they were already getting pot bound and it was getting hot out. And so I had a time schedule to stick to and it's, yeah, I need to make sure, lesson learned, need to make sure that that soil's really mixed well before you start, you know, making sure it's compacted down by watering it in. And that's what you do with any kind of you know, soil, brand new soil, you know, when you amend the soil, no matter what you do, if, you know, if, if you make your own soil, no matter what, you just got to water that down a little bit before you put them in. I mean, unless you're working with little pots and then when you do, you water them in and you don't leave it all weird and, and holy, you, you pack it down. And then if you need more soil, you put it on there and you pack it in. Well, with the big pots, it's exactly the same. And you know, that's what I'm going to make sure I do next time. <laughs> so I, wanted to make sure I showed you guys what I put in the spray. I did spray them this morning. I'm going to go show you guys what they look like right now. And that way it's going to be, you know, the video the other way. So that way I can hopefully zoom in and show you the buds on the super lemon haze. And hopefully my phone won't shut off again. And if it does, I apologize. I will put up that there were technical difficulties and <laughs> all that. So <laughs> another great day at work and um, another great day in the garden. So I hope you all are having a wonderful time with uh, having things get back open and being able to do more things. And hopefully you guys have been having a great time in your garden this whole time. <laughs> so yeah, um, thanks for watching. And this is the stuff that I've been using for sprays. The humic acid, the plants really love it. And the bee... I'm just going to be able to do like once a week. I might even take it out every other time or even only do that part when it needs, or I mean, excuse me, the cow mag. I might only do this every once in a while, but it also has humic acid in it too. And the plants just super love it. And they love the seaweed. They, it, every watering, they absolutely love it. And with the cow mag, it just helps make sure that those other vitamins are getting in the, you know, their nutrient regimen regimen <laughs> so they can be the best they can be so that being said I'm gonna say goodbye for now and hopefully get to go show you all what the girls look like and how I did the diatomaceous earth around them and all that so thank you again for watching and please like comment subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and have a peaceful day huh Rocky have a peaceful day oh he's napping <laughs>